So I'm gonna to talk to you about two things I love, which is dogs and wine. Welcome to Dogs and Wine, cheers. So I'm uh, chilling here with Tavi, I'm gonna tell, tell you a little about myself. I've traveled all over, I've actually had wines in Napa Valley, Sonoma Valley, Oregon, upstate New York, there's some amazing wineries out there that need to be uh, checked out. So I'm a big advocate for adopting dogs who need great homes, and he's obviously a great dog, needed a home, and. He found it, and look how awesome, look how awesome Tavi is. Tavi is amazing. So I'm here with Tavi, and he's a rescue. One of the things I love about rescues is I've had rescues all my life, and they've left like a really amazing impact in my life. They usually have really big hearts, and they, they've come long ways. Tavi has been adopted by his awesome mom. Tavi was from Tennessee, actually, and he's a very, he was, got in trouble. He was in time out for being too playful. Okay, sometimes you gotta play. You want to play and have fun. So what I love about wine, you can drink a whole bottle by yourself, but it's great to share with friends and have a conversation to uh, discuss all the details and all the intricacies of wine. So that's what I love about it. And uh, who else to share it with? Who who what who better to share it with than Tommy? So we're, our first wine is a Belarus. Uh, so the Belarus to me is like on the lighter side. It's a medium light wine. It has cherries and a little bit of spice, good for the holidays. It has like silky tannins. This thing is awesome. And for the price, it's amazing. So it's 13 to 15 bucks, roughly, depending where you are. And it got 88 points from wine enthusiasts. So this is a pretty, it's pretty badass wine. So what do you think, Tavi? He's banging his tail, which means he likes it. So let's 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 check out the next one. So this is our uh, Giulianico. <laughs> this wine to me is very playful and fun. I actually have a decanter because this one needs a little time to breathe. I think so. Tavi needs a little bit of time to just chill out and relax. So uh, this one, oh, sorry, Tavi, you first. We're gonna do a little bit of a taste. <laughs> I know Tavi, right? What do you think, Tavi? You don't want to leave. This is this is a good one. This is a staple in my life. So we have our True Grit. So this is my third and last wine today. That we're gonna talk about. Tavi's a little tuckered out from drinking too much. You gotta be careful, you know? It's a lot more fuller. It has a really silky quality to it. It's heavier, so it's a, it has a different feel to it. So depending on mood, I might want the other wines for a different reason. Um, wine enthusiast gave it 91 points. That's pretty badass. So 91 points is hard to get. And for the value, it's such a great deal. It's, it's a little pricier, so it's in the $15 to $20 range. So depending what you want to spend, this is, this is, this is a really great wine. It, so Tavi, what do you think of this wine? Yeah. It's a little too much for you, Cabernet? He's, he likes it maybe a little lighter. Yeah, it's, it's full body. It's, it's, it's not for everybody. No, it's just a really good one. Check this one out. Some people don't like full body breads. That's, that's the Cabernet True Grit. See, see, his pal, and now he likes it. See, oh my God, Tavi, you're such a character. He always plays tricks on me. Currently can't have a dog in my apartment, but, uh, so, oh! So when you fall on your face, <laughs> slip rune over here. I travel a lot for work. And so, uh, yeah, we can't. I can't always see my two dogs. So I get to hang out with Toppy and say hello. And it's nice to have a great neighbor who's awesome. Such a good boy, yeah. Say hello to all your fans, Toppy. He says hi. He, uh, Toppy says hi. Shake. Good boy. So I want to thank Toppy for being my first guest on, on my first episode and sharing three great bottles of wine. And my name is Damien, this is Tavi, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.